Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kid Robert and welcome back guys to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded in a very, very long time and I also need to turn up the volume. There we go, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, last time guys we left off um, in this save, so we're just gonna resume the game. Gosh, it's been a while since I've touched this game. Oh yeah, we were writing a poem for the people. So people have explained to me uh, basically what this is. It's basically... Uh, you basically get to woo certain girls by picking um, the words that correspond to their characteristic or their personality. So if I click cheer, um, Sayori will go off because cheer is her sort of thing. So uh, let's do, I want to do Sayori. I think Sayori is the one I should go for. Yeah, raindrops. Raindrops. Oh, that's hers. Okay. Um, jumpy? Uh, I'm doing bad. Okay. Determination. Nope, that's not it. Candy? Nope. <laughs> Peace. Come on! Anime. This is not what I wanted. Um, twirl. I think I'm going for Natsuki, so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely. <laughs> Valentine. Wonderful. Marriage. Rose. Suicide? Uh-oh, that's not good. Wait, is this the part of the game that's scary? No, it's not. Home. Oh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting so good. Lollipop. Ah! Alright, I don't know what I did, so whatever. Hi again, Kale Robber. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I'll keep my word. Well, I'm back in the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Gail Robert. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when we're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! You like his fat? <laughs> I'm so bad at the voices. Um. Ooh, come on! <laughs> Could, uh, I'm just gonna read in a normal voice. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. So he told me he didn't want to join any clubs this year. Unless you are two. <laughs> I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you are certainly a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ma, ma, ma. Natsuki finds herself stuck between the word Monica and manga. <laughs> manga literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Okay, I'm gonna do a voice for her. Don't worry, guys. He don't really kiss his best as long as he's having fun. He has to be busy working without me even asking. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Suri, it's because your room is so messy and distracting, and you almost set your house on fire once. It's actually hehe. <laughs> you, <two are, laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh, come here, Kid Robert. Can we become good friends, too? Uh, um... Sayori? Huh? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she's put me into. Ow. Oh, you're even mommy seeming new to you now. Well, wait, Sayori. And me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really... N oh, it's really nothing. What is it? Then never mind. <laughs> Sayori may sound like... Oh, wait. Sayori may sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't suspecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you was a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a laugh or make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even though you don't usually read. It, as we could, you know. Discuss it, if you wanted. That this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she likes. She thinks I like, despite me not reading much. I'm a, I love reading, by the way. <laughs> Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. <sighs> Focus. I look forward to hearing what you read, what you think. 
Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literally related like myself to myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the books Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to Yuri's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna have some really late compared to all your cups, though. Hmm. Well, we, can, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. Well, we just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. <laughs> that doesn't seem this... <laughs> it doesn't seem to solve the problem, though! What do you mean? Even if we can't come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come in the first... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So it's important to figure out that everyone can show up in the first place, you know? If they come, they can do the spike thing the grave nice. What's this? Zero is taking this really seriously. It's really here. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Oh, that's a good point. In that case, what food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That worked out perfectly. I wasn't... That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Ah, oh, it's cute. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Oh, my gosh. I find myself smiling. In the end, so sorry... S <laughs> I said say sorry, <laughs> yeah. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reasons that I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding in any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind in and make things to make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! Ooh, ah! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry! Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. It's not the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? Wait, does our... Oh, I said that too. Serious voice. Does this school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you got less time for anime, you know. I've also noticed, uh, while I'm playing through this, that uh, Natsuki, Yuri, and Sayori all have the re at the end of their name, and Monica is just ka. That's... Has anyone noticed that? I don't know. Maybe maybe no one else is pointing that out to now. But And also, my story voice may crack a little while, so just prepare for voice cracks. Now that you're in the club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over to my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. It's you, though. Yeah. I I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Siri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days like this have you... How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. <laughs> I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sarah, it's written all over you. Eh? Sarah glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair is sticking out from all over, all around here. Wait, is her hair? Oh wait, her hair is always like that. <laughs> ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get it right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look at your bow isn't straight. Your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your light on your collar right there. I heard to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you being meanie. And you don't even keep your blazing bu blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? 
Eh? That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Ah, uh, I don't like this view. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about weird to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we like this. Won't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is it the one? Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button in your chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means that my bit. <sighs> I'm not reading that. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, ah. Uh... Why does it feel strange that Sarah's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sari has definitely buttons the blazer once more. Phew! It's so much better. Sari puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it on button, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that it's like a good thing? Because! If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't have let me do things like this. And you would take care of me better than everyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it buttoned. Stop saying... Oh, stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hee hee hee. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come and wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Oh, wait, Sayori, I forgot to read a line in the Sayori voice. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share our poems we wrote now? Yeah! Can't worry, can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I felt to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've I had never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you go find someone to share with? I can't wait! Zeri and Monica enthusiastically put on their poems. Zeri is a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper torn, torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly complete as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay, we're gonna do Sayori first because I want to get rid of the Sayori voice. I'm definitely not most comfortable sharing it with Sayori's first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Kill Robert! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha <laughs> ha Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion is a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's... Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Kill Robert poem, and that makes it feel extra special, like I can feel your feelings. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy you just wrote, you wrote one. It reminds me of how you really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you, the whole club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't seem to mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Kill Robert. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her, after all. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you on to that, then. Yay! Now you dream about it, alright? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see. You. We'll see about that. <laughs> Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my binds in the morning, and you make me feel misty, kissing my forehead, a bad rub of sleep from the eyes. 
uh, asking me to come out and play, are you trusting me to watch some rainy day? I look above the sky as a little bit of secret, I will trust you. I believe you if I can sleep forever, but I'm mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Click outside, okay. Sayori, so, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No, it's just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. Oh wait, that was my voice. <laughs> I still try my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It just came out nice, or how should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I mean, eggs and toast. Even though you're late. Even though you're late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hehehe. <laughs> this was much fun. Want to kiss the best? Uh, yeah. But next time, I just won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay, Natsuki's next. Okay. Well, it's about just what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me, it's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke my emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. You want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess it's time to show you mine. But not that you like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in the high school thinks I'm writing this to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even make trying to make or take my writing seriously. But that isn't the point of poems to, for people to express themselves. The writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat like on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it when that I realized. That's what I mean by, that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad that you learned it something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with her with that last comment. I don't really care how everyone old is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh. So sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. So, it's that bad. No, no! Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri bears her face into her hands. I couldn't help but notice that she's been several minutes and she, she hasn't gotten anywhere. I might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And I haven't been through that myself and I've kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing here is that writers, so I recognize that new writers, is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit two together. This is not scary. I'm not liking this. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Both Yuri, once Yuri finishes her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely on, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different kinds of techniques that go into simple, even s writing a simple poem. Not finding them and building them and getting them to work. It's tiny as a poem, blah, 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 blah. It also helps that everyone gets to the club and the valuable feedback. That's a key can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri, Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. 
I'd love to share my thoughts to the process behind it. Every smile dreamily if it's just a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't it supposed to be a literature club? Oh, ghosts under the light, tendrils of illuminate go, must be the one. Yeah, her poems are uh, awfully dark and twisted, so I guess that's kind of her type of thing. I, I'm sorry that I have some terrible handwriting. Yeah, I couldn't read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> but it took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad that you like it. To be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, Kia Robber. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did not only glance over it, after all. But remember, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last moment, ah, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot more soul in putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Alright. Monica, the last one. Hi, Kill Robber. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club or new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to do. <laughs> Don't worry, Kale Robber. We're all a little embarrassing, you know? But that's sort of a barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm, I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? Yeah, because I went for Sayori route. You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had the sorts of things in common. Ah, well, I may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, well that may be the case. Blah, 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 blah. Today she talks about you. This is a lot of boring dialogue. I am starting to believe that this is not a horror game. And this is just some prank that you guys told me about. <laughs> oh gosh, sound like Yuri. Any case, series, emotions, happiness, sadness. Who knew someone could be so happy and enjoy things too? That's totally unexpected. Well, each in their own. You shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Yeah, I'm sure I'll end up trying something different a lot. I could take a while before I get comfortable doing things. That's okay. That was weird. <laughs> I love to see you try new things. That is the best way to f the kind of different style that suits you. Everything else might be a little biased towards their own con kinds of condition, but it'll always help you with what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about imp impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, I want to read my poem now. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Could have been me to see the direction of sparkles. Alright. So her poem is just... I'm a angry boyfriend. No, I can see a real blind. But in the sun, my return. Scores some permanent copy of meaningless image. Just a hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. <laughs> you guys not, might get that joke because you're young. But you'll know it sooner when you're older. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. That's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really into that person writing to you guys. It's okay. That kind of person is blah, 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 blah. I know, I'm sorry. If I'm annoying you guys by skipping over the dialogue, but this is just useless dialogue. It's, it's, I don't know. But I like to get to the interesting, nitty and gritty. I mean, I've already made an episode and I'm so afraid, like, that other people are gonna hate me because I'm skipping through this stuff and you're like, oh, you're gonna miss something. I'm not really missing anything, okay? 
I've been influencing my poems a bit in empathy, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous talking about deep stuff like that because it's coming from something strongly. Maybe after everyone is better with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the game. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try too hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep the pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a dark black puddle of dark black puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way for my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up do getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read into tandem, I watch each of them as their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow and shows frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Guess you could say that it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you com completely miss the p miss symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You must have to be trying to that hard to come up with something nice to say. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for a suggestion, I would have asked someone who really liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Kilrabber did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a lot of time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't. Mmm! <clears throat> and Kilrabber liked my poem too, you know. He even told me I was impressed by it. Suki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ah, uh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Kirabri appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No, if I wasn't full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my gosh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the only one who's uh, magically grew a size bigger as soon as K. Robert started showing up. Natsuki! Hey, um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls start standing toward me and notice I was standing there. K. Robert, she, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all conclusive for no reason? The meaning should just jump out of the rear, not forcing them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Kale Robert. Well, wait! There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey our complex feelings and the meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is the most unnecessary blah blah blah! So blah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Well... How do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I can know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Help me, Sayori! Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drawing up my words. And so instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything more. Sayori! Eh? Yeah? Everyone's fighting making... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kill Robert. Well, this is the point. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair to others to interject their own feelings into her conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri that what a suck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that makes her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Nasuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Be because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. 
And your boobs are the exact same as they've always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is the vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. <clears throat> To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As a president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? I guess you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes she's, it's weirdly suspicious that means she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica causes sweet that I'm smiling sweetly, causing my stomach to knot. What a genuine person really does makes a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Okay, Robert, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about it with everyone. Awesome! Well, in that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone's like? With that, with that any luck, I might be able to... Do, that means I can do at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I doubted myself with newfound determination. Determination! Hey, Robert! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Kill Robber, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sarah still hasn't caught on to this kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, I'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an international monologue sometime. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save the game. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Okay. So, I think now would be a good time to end the episode. <laughs> uh. My gosh, I did not expect it to take that long. We're already 33 minutes into the video. So, yes, it's been on hanging out with you guys, but I gotta go. It's late. I want to get some shut eye. A lot of people have been asking me to upload, so I'm going to upload uh, maybe a, in a week or two. I have no idea. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye, guys.